Oh, thanks to Leon for those last few races, and it's the Felton Roberts' chase next at Kempton, and it's a three-mile grade one, just a field of five for this nomadic by race for David Robertson, the tiny horse, Joshua Sutherland, Cleric's Cloak, Leon Van Rensburg, double chance, David Hooley, and Mystical Mail for Leon Van Rensburg. So the top long-distance novices then, and away they go, over the larger obstacles. They're all safely over the first virtually five in a line. They've got 18 more to take, so they'll be given a, given a proper test, jumping-wise. And this second vent is a ditch. And they're all safely over that one with the tiny horse on the inside, just about the leader. From double chance second. And the Leon Van Rensburg pair, Cleric's Cloak and Mystical Mail. They are the only doubly represented trainer in this grade one. Nomadic Bygraves is just the back marker. And all will be guaranteed some pretty healthy prize money if they get round. And it's the tiny horse. And he's currently showing the weight in the red and black of Joshua Sutherland as they get over the third. And they're legal by Rensburg pair Cleric's Cloak. And Mystical Mail, the purple jacketed double chance for David Hooley. And then as they get to the fourth, the back marker is Nomadic Bygraves for David Robertson in those turquoise and pinky coloured hoops. Making their way towards the next end. It's another ditch. And all safely over the fifth. The tiny horse. Showing the way by about three lengths to Clarence Cloak in second. Mystical Mail is back in third as they get to the sixth. And well, that leader didn't jump that well at all there. That's the first serious mistake anybody's made. And doesn't seem to have slowed him down too much. And continues to lead by three. To Clarence Cloak in second. Now Manic Bygraves is the one who's creeping closer on the outside in third. Mystical Mail has dropped back into fourth. And double chance is now sat at the back. Probably about eight lengths off the lead. And that lead is held by the tiny horse. Going down towards fence number seven. And all safely over that one. You can see the all weather track on the near side. And the tiny horse is the leader. As they get to the eighth. And all safely over that one. That double chance was right down on his nose did well to recover this fence will be the last on the next circuit and the leader was a little bit ponderous but continues to lead by two the tiny horse clerics cloak is second nomadic by rose is third and mystical mail is fourth and then a gap of four or five lengths to double chances just getting back on an even keel after that mistake as they race past the winning post then and they'll swing out right-handed for a complete circuit of the kempton track and the tiny horse is in the lead on Cleric's Cloak second, Nomadic Bygraves is third, and Mystical Mail fourth, and Double Chance fifth as they take the water. They're all safely over the water jump with the field in true Indian file. And the tiny horse is clear by five at this next one. All over it nicely. The tiny horse by five, then Cleric's Cloak by three, Nomadic Bygraves by two, and Mystical Mail by a similar distance to the back mark of Double Chance as they get over that ditch. And they're all still going well within themselves. Double Chance seems to record from that earlier mistake. As the tiny horse continues to lead. Three lengths up on Cleric Slope, who's just pulled a little bit further away from Nomadic Bygraves. Mystical Mail and Double Chance are now together and are about to join Nomadic Bygraves to make a three. Well, it's the tiny horse who continues to be in the lead on his own. Bowling along nicely. Cleric's Cloak next as they come to the 13th. And this time it was Cleric's Cloak that made the mistake. And that's seen that one now drop back and to be joined by Nomadic Bygraves. But the lead for the tiny horse over the 14th is up to six lengths from Cleric's Cloak and Nomadic Bygraves. Then comes Double Chance. Mystical Mail is suddenly sending out distress signals. And the jockey's having to work hard to get that one to keep up with the rest of them. But the tiny horse, he might be tiny, but he's doing well at the moment. He's over the 
Ditch in the lead from Cleric Cloak in second. Then comes Nomadic Bygraves. Then double chance. Big gap back to Mystical Mouth. Difficult to see that one playing a part in the finish now. And the Tiny Horse is being pushed into the next one. Over the 16th. Gets over it nicely. Gets away from it well. Cleric Cloak in second. Double chance slow in third. Then Nomadic Bygraves in fourth. But it's the Tiny Horse past the four furlong pole. Then in the lead. By about six lengths to Cleric Cloak and Double Chance, then Nomadic Bygraves. Mystical Mail is totally out of it. They've got three more fences to take in the straight then, and it's the Tiny Horse by five. The Tiny Horse in the lead, Cleric Cloak and Double Chance trying to close. Nomadic Bygraves is back in fourth, but it's the Tiny Horse in front. He's beginning to tire just a little bit as they come down towards the third last. Over he goes. His Cleric's Cloak now getting closer in second. Surely between these two, they've still got two to jump though. It's the Tiny Horse in the lead. Cleric's Cloak in second. Over the second last they go. And he's nearly down there, Cleric's Cloak. And it's the Tiny Horse who's back in the initiative in the lead. It's the, into the final foot. And one more fence to take. He's over in front of the Tiny Horse. Cleric's Cloak. Here comes Nomadic Bygraves on the outside. Tiny Horse is in the lead up the hill. Cleric's Cloak is trying to close. Then comes Nomadic Bygraves. Tiny Horse is hanging on. Cleric's Cloak is having one last lunge. And he's just held on the Tiny Horse, Cleric's Cloak Nomadic Bygraves, double chance, and then Mystical Mail. And the tiny horse just had enough to keep him going to hang on. A massive win that one for the tiny horse. And the tiny horse takes it for Joshua Sutherland. Kirk's Cloak was second for Leon van Rensburg. Nomadic Bygraves for David Robertson was fourth, was third. Double chance. David Hilly was fourth and Mystical Mail for Leon van Rensburg finished fifth.